my question is basically this. So you have a kid that's playing and everything's all good and he's having a great time and he's okay or she's okay. Nothing, not, not getting hurt. She's doing crazy things and everything's all good. And then the parent comes and the parent says, whoa, 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 be careful when you're climbing that. And then something happens. Yeah. Right. So that, that's generally kind of the mechanism in the kid's mind is installed this like limitation or this idea or this consideration that I need to be careful while I'm climbing or while I'm playing by the pool or whatever. Mm -hmm. How do you go to that kid? What do you suggest for the kid now, now that it's been given to him and now he's all of a sudden worried, what do you suggest to the kid or what can the kid do to unstick himself after he's been told to be careful? Okay. So, so really the handling is that the kids have to realize that he has two options to live his life as cause or as effect. Yeah. If he lives as cause, there will be dangers and that's part of the fun. Actually, mm -hmm. the only fun that there is, is uh, overcoming danger. It, the, it's actually exerting this effort, is actually putting the energy up. That's what's the fun. Yeah, and, absolutely. And if it's not dangerous, it's boring. Mm -hmm. What happened is that uh, instinctively people like to, to have these challenges and that's why people do dangerous sport and they do all of those things that are dangerous because without danger, there's no fun. Yeah. Now, danger become really dangerous when you are careful. Before you are careful, danger is danger for the observer. Once you start to be careful, danger become dangerous to you.